A cute and scary Christmas present. That's what I'm gonna be showing you how to make today. Merry Christmas, everybody. My name is Lucille Ball, and let's get started. Um, I love the way this came out. I think it's gorgeous and it's frightening. And I love, I love his big old buck tooth in the middle. So let's get started. Let's create my cute and scary gift cake. I'm using only a six inch square cake. I'm using three of them. I'm adding in some holiday sprinkles into my buttercream in the middle, just so it looks super festive. I'm gonna scare everything out of you on the outside, but I want the inside to look super cute. Now the sides of this cake aren't completely straight up and down. Um, and so I'm going to use the side to kind of dictate the side of my cake and give this a tapered look. I'm just going to follow the curve on the top layer of cake all the way down to the bottom. It's a kawaii present so I kind of want to just exaggerate the sides. Now in the community tab I told you that this is a gift monster and to not let the cute side of this cake deceive you because there's a monster hiding inside. I asked for his name, his hobbies and his favorite Taylor Swift song. And I loved all of your choices, actually. Now I decided to name him after Christina Zamora's idea, which is Pandora, the Pandora monster. You open in a present and this monster pops out. Now after I was happy with the size of my cake, I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. I decided that the reason he pops out is because he likes to eat naughty kids. So, Kids who like to sneak out of bed before Christmas morning and take a peek at their presents, those are the kids that he eats. He just opened in a present and bam, pops out, eats your face off, and then eats the rest of your body. That's why you're not supposed to take a sneak peek. You gotta just wait till Christmas morning. Although I did do that with Pokemon cards. <laughs> Cause I had to like tear them very slowly so that I could see what cards I got. Christmas. It ruined Christmas morning for me because I knew that I got a Squirtle card and I had like four Squirtles already. I didn't need another one. Now I gave my cake a crumb coat and then I placed it into the fridge. And while my cake was setting up, I was watching Klaus, which is a Netflix movie. It is bomb. It's such a good Christmas movie. And it explains the origin of Santa Claus. The way the story unfolds, the way that the main character, the postman, learns to become human because he's just like this rich jerk is beautiful. And oh, he becomes the guy, the old in it is magical. If you have Netflix and you have a bomb family, then watch this in your living rooms. I'm not, I'm not even joking. It is a great family movie. Sometimes I tell you that scary movies are good family movies, but that's just so I can have a good laugh. But this is actually a great family movie. Now let's get back to the cake. Let's create Pandora. I'm adding a piece of fondant to create his underbite. And then I'm covering one side of my cake with some skin tone fondant. I wasn't sure what color I wanted him, so I, initially I just wanted him to just be like this very ugly human that's stuck in a box. And then I realized what kind of monster I wanted him to be, so it evolved as I was creating the cake. Now I asked you guys to tell me what Pandora's favorite Taylor Swift song was, and you guys said Bad Blood. Who said that? Casey, Space Unicorn, and Jinx Forever told me that his favorite song was Bad Blood. And that's right, because Pandora used to be bullied when he was little. And so this is kind of him seeking revenge for all the stuff that was done to him. You bad kid, you don't deserve presents, you deserve to get eaten. Kids can be mean. Don't be mean, you create monsters, just like Pandora. If you want to see more awesome Christmas ideas, I started a new channel called Mighty Mix. Every day I'm posting Christmas cake from the past couple years that I'm super proud of. So head over there, subscribe, and check them out. Now I gave him this really big buck tooth. I thought it was cute. Um, turns out it's not so cute, but it also works for the fact that he's really scary. So I'm pleased with that big buck tooth. Now you can tell that the left side of the cake, I didn't actually try as hard because I knew it was gonna be covered up. So there's some things that I notice about the blending of 
like the fondant around the left eye that could be improved but I was like you know what they're not gonna notice it when it's covered with wrapping paper now this is my favorite technique on the cake I used a piece of plastic wrap and a round tip to add some scales uh, because the plastic wrap surrounds the fondant and it goes like this as opposed to just pushing it straight down. Brilliant! I love that technique. Once I was happy with all of my fondant work on the scary side of Pandora, I started to work on the top of my cake. Now usually I don't show myself cutting fondant because it's so boring to me. But I decided to do this because I thought it was really cool. I wanted to create a realistic like bow that you find on Christmas presents. And so I cut some red strips and just folded them over to create cones. Now I'm going to line these up in a circle and just push down the middle. Uh, and just stack them tall so that I can create the bow look. It's a thick layer of fondant, but it looks really cool, doesn't it? Now it was time to create the rest of Pandora. Now I'm gonna cover the other side of my cake with some blue fondant and I'm not covering the whole cake, I'm only covering half of it. And I pinched the sides of the fondant because I didn't know how I was gonna create the corners. <laughs> so I decided to do it this way. I just cut away the excess and just blended the sides so that I had really nice corners and it turned out very well. Now I'm gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna hide the seam behind a red bow. Now I'm gonna add a second piece of baby blue fondant that covers my scary Pandora face. I'm gonna cut and tear fondant away to create a messy look. I want it to look like it was just torn open by a very bad kid. Santa kind of upgraded, right? Because before bad kids would get cold and now they just get eaten. The more you tear, the more shredded it looks, the better Pandora will look in the end. Ooh, this looks terrible, right? Oh god, that looks scary. You won't even know from the front. Now, like I said, I'm gonna cover my seam with some red fondant. Just place it onto the sides and cut away the excess. Yahoo! Front to back, and then left to right. Now the one thing that you can probably tell about Pandora is his hobby is waiting. <laughs> he likes waiting. He likes the anticipation of waiting for somebody to come and open the box so that he can scare the poop out of them. Sometimes he sits for hours, sometimes he sits for days because the child isn't ready to open the box. And sometimes he's waiting for nothing because Christmas morning comes and he kind of just has to disappear. Now I wanted this cake to look very, very deceptive. So I'm giving this extremely kawaii features, black eyes, cute catch lights, and a very smiling face. Look at that. How happy is that face? Pandora, nobody has a clue that you are inside this package. Once I was done with the face, I added on my ribbon, which I'm very proud of because it looks bomb. And I'm gonna add a little bit more texture with some green ribbon as well. I wanted this to look very elegant and I upgraded it with a little bit of maroon and red luster dust. I'm just placing it sparingly onto the red ribbon. And then I moved on to creating Pandora's face. I wanted him to look ugly. First I thought he was going to look kind of cute ugly, but then I was like, let's make you look hideous. So I'm using some diluted red, yellow, and green luster dust and just a hint of black to make it look dirty. I gave him yellow eyes because those look the most like disturbing. <laughs> also I like that his pupil is like a cat pupil. I thought the hint of green would make him look a lot more like lizardy. Like some sort of a reptile, which is why I decided to add just a hint of it underneath and on top. I would hate to open up this present and see this horrid looking face. And then I added some more decorations. So I'm adding some icing with a little bit of sprinkles to decorate the bottom. And then I just sprinkled on some more of the same sprinkles on top. And voila, Pandora the gift monster was complete. What? Can you believe it? I can't. 
When I showed this to my aunt, I showed them the way that I show you guys. I showed the cute side and then I turned it around just to see her reaction and she was just not having it. <laughs> it looks... You don't expect it. I'm super proud of that. There's no hint of it on the front and then you go around to the side and you see the torn pieces of fondant and you realize that there's this whole other concept and scary monster idea on the back and it's just the reveal is perfect. I'm curious. What do you think about this cake? Do you like it? Do you like the idea of cute and scary for Christmas? I think I'm having more fun with the cute and scary stuff this Christmas season than I did in Halloween. It's so much more deceptive because you're not expecting anything to be scary here in Christmas. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out all of my cute and scary cake ideas. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace! <laughs>